All right, welcome to Rebel Headquarters. We've got some great guests for you guys today and some important announcements. We're gonna do the announcements in the second segment, so don't miss that. Um, uh, some really, really great uh, stuff for you guys. And I want you guys to participate. I want you guys to ask the candidates questions. I'm gonna tell you how you can do that in the second segment. Uh, but uh, joining me in studio now is Claude Taylor. Claude, uh, great to have you here. Thank you, thanks for having me. Uh, absolutely, uh, so you are the founder of Mad Dog Pack. Mm -hmm. This is a super fun pack. Now normally packs are not great things, with two exceptions, Wolf Pack and Mad Dog Pack. Uh, so Technically we're a pack, not a super pack. Right, okay, good, okay. good to know as well. So uh, tell the good folks at home, what does Mad Dog Pack do? Primarily we do anti-Trump billboards. Uh, we do uh, anti-Trump air banners. Uh, we've done them across the Midwest. We're heading to New Jersey uh, to do uh, an air large, what I call a huge ass air banner. It's <laughs> 30 by 100 feet. Uh, it is literally the largest air banner that this plane has ever towed. Uh -huh. um, and it's just enormous. And so, it's gonna be all over New Jersey, the Jersey Shore, Atlantic City, around Bedminster. Yeah. So I want the audience to, <clears throat> to know that uh, huge ass uh, air banner is a technical term. Yes. He's just, you know, that's just what they call it in the business. Yeah. We're, we're, we're working it with Guinness. The, it actually, we actually believe it is the world's largest impeachment banner. <laughs> Well, I wouldn't be surprised by that. I thought you were gonna say the largest banner ever in the air. Well, that I'd be surprised according by. According to two pilots that have so far, because we're passing it from pilot to pilot, depending where it is. According to them, it's the largest banner they've ever seen in their industry. All right, that sounds fun. Okay. So why, uh, what does it say on it? Impeachment now. Okay, well, that's very I, clear as well. I can show you a, a visual. Uh huh. Do you have a huge ass banner? Here no, I, I don't. I don't. I okay. have a, a, a uh, um, some bumper stickers. Oh, I see. It okay. basically looks just like the bumper stickers. By the way, I actually think I've seen these uh, in LA, which oh. is unsurprising. Here, let's take a my one shot. See impeachment now. Yeah, uh, I'm almost certain I've seen it actually. Well, so and you've gotten a lot of press coverage, and here you and are. Here's so a T-shirt for you. Okay, resist. We have our own version of this. Uh, yeah, no, but this is just our version of resist. I like your version. Your yeah. version is fun. It's a little art, artsy. Yeah. Okay, uh, so where where do people find this? Maddogpack.com. So maddogpack.com. Yeah. So we have a, we have a lot of, of products, a lot of swag. We have a lot of fun with the swag. But honestly, the whole purpose of the swag is to fund the air banners, to fund the billboards. So I want to get to the funding because I I find that. Uh, right. Really, really interesting in in terms of the model. Before I get there, why New Jersey? Well, because of Bedminster, uh, um, because of Atlantic City, because of the Jersey Shore, because it's summertime. So we're taking advantage of, of every uh, weekend between now and Labor Day. So we're gonna be flying the, air, uh, the huge ass banner on a lot of public beaches, um, and, uh, right. mid Midwest and New Jersey. And, and Bedminster, by the way, is where Donald Trump's uh, golf courses are, and he goes there in the summer a lot. So. Right, it's sort of the summer version of Mar-a-Lago, which we will be covering later in, in the year when he returns to Mar-a-Lago. Um, oh. We have our, our probably our most recognizable um, um, traditional billboard at Mar-a-Lago that is just like this. Right. Um, and, and that's there year round. So how did the idea come to you to do uh, billboards? Because you started with billboards, right? We started with one billboard. Uh, there's this uh, reptilian uh, member of Congress, Matt Gates. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, so I, on Twitter, this, this started as a Twitter thing. I'm, I'm known as uh, at true facts stated on Twitter. Mm -hmm. um, we heard about Matt Gates. Everyone heard about his you know, uh, support of Trump. Then I started seeing his DUI picture. Uh, from his oh, DUI. Oh, I did not know that. And then there started like his father got him out from several other DUIs and there's all these times that charges were never pressed and he refused a blood test, which is normally an automatic suspension. It wasn't in his case. His father was oh, speaker. Outrageous. His father was speaker of the Florida uh, uh, State Senate, I think at the time. Uh, very important local politician, um, uh, any number of things. I mean, the guy has a dead roommate story in his background. Okay, I, I don't know I, anything I, about that. I, I don't know, I, I don't know either, I don't know either. But anyway, so we. Rather than going with the dead roommate story, we went with a DUI. So we basically put a, a the huge billboard up of his DUI photo, mm -hmm. of his mugshot. Oh, that was the first billboard, not about Trump. 
That was the first billboard. Oh, okay. wow. Yeah, so then I, I bet he loved you that. You talked about one of my billboards. Oh, of course uh, I did. Yeah, yeah that's, that's why you're on the, the show. show. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, of course. But, okay. but I was, uh, I, I, then we did a lot of uh, anti NRA billboards. Oh, I love those. Uh, you know, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. the NRA is a terrorist organization. But we were doing. Um, Impeachment now, right off the bat. I mean, it's, we started doing that. I mean, we have billboards in like 18 states right now. Wow, uh, you put the three billboards outside of Ebbing's, uh, Missouri to shame. You got 18 billboards. Well, 18 <laughs> states. We've done yeah. upwards of 100 billboards. Well, like, that's amazing. You know, and some of them are rolling billboards. You know, uh, then now we're doing air banners. You know, so it's all kind of in the same genre. But. So when, when did Soros start funding this? I. Uh, uh, we got our promissory note, our letter of intent, um, in in uh, in early December. Uh -huh. um, hasn't arrived yet. The first <laughs> check has not arrived, but we're expecting it a any day, any, any day. Any day. Um, <laughs> and in the absence of that, uh, we have gotten about seven thousand individual donors mm -hmm. who have contributed. Um, to the pack, mm -hmm. um, and then several, uh, many more thousands of people have bought a T-shirt. Um, we've done things like, um, you remember the the challenge coin the White House did? Uh, uh, oh yeah, yeah. To, mm -hmm. You know, because they were so proud of their dictator summit, uh, yep. the, the Korean one. Yeah, so yeah. So we did Wait, where he solved uh, yeah, the North where, Korea. Where problem. he he got played by a you know. 28 year old psychotic dictator. Yeah. You know, or whatever. Yeah, that's yeah. right, because he's a mental midget. I yeah, don't know yeah, if you're yeah. allowed to say that, but. Well, yeah. yes. Yeah. Mental little person. And yes, I mean, his frontal lobe is turning into Swiss cheese. Mm -hmm. So, it, yeah, know, he's, got, he's clearly got issues. Watch a video of Donald Trump from 15 or 20 years ago. It's a different person. Mm -hmm. He's relatively articulate, uh, relatively. Uh, I mean, his vocabulary has just degraded this like incredibly. I'm sorry, I, I'm sidetracked. But anyway, we made we made a, a coin, um, a takeoff on their challenge coin. Um, we sold 20 grand of it um, within a week. We had only designed one side of it. We figured, well, we just sold 20 grand of this coin. We better design the second side. Oh. So we and then we sold another 20 grand of that that challenge coin. I mean, it's 40 grand we sold of this. Of this fake coin, uh -huh. you know that that is paying for our Mar-a-Lago billboard from now through the uh, through the election. Okay, so that's what I, I, I just love. Want, I just want to connect those two because the yeah. swag is fun and people joke about it and you know all this stuff and it's T-shirts and this stuff is paying for a lot of billboards. So. Um, I get how it's now beginning to it's sustaining itself, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And people like it, so they give you money. And some smart groups like PCCC does that. They'll do an ad, which is a really tough ad against a Republican, and they'll say, "If you like the ad, fund it, and we'll air it more." Right. right? right. And so this is, in a sense, you're yeah. doing that here. But did you have money in the beginning to put up the first billboard before oh, no. it took off? No, no. Uh, uh, well, actually, we. Um, uh, no, we didn't. Uh, we did the first one. We did. We did with a GoFundMe, okay. Uh -huh. And because I, I was, I was sort of, people knew who I was on Twitter, uh, uh, uh -huh. as True Fact stated. Um, we got a lot of issues with that GoFundMe campaign, and they got basically the trolls started f funding, uh, flooding uh, GoFundMe with complaints, mm -hmm. saying that we were, we were actually going to steal the money. We weren't going to put up the billboard. So, uh, so, 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 so it took us like, it was clear that GoFundMe was not going to give us the money quickly. So I actually had to put it on a credit card mm -hmm. um, until GoFundMe um, uh, came up with the money like a, a week later. You know? okay. so, so, you know, I mean, that was our first billboard. We learned, we've learned a lot. And basically what we've done with Mad Dog Pack is we've created our own GoFundMe yeah. for this purpose. Yeah, no, they bless your heart. That's American ingenuity right there. You, yeah, you, we're, we're also doing it internationally now, and we figured out how to do that, which is a whole, I mean, it, we've never been able to sell t-shirts to Canadians. And and this whole time- No, I'm, the Canadians are notoriously anti-t-shirt. Well, it's also, because we're a pack, anything we take, take in is a political contribution. So we were legally prohibited from selling a t-shirt to a Canadian or to an Australian or to a Brit. And uh -huh. lots of them wanted them. Right. So we've created a separate entity, a for-profit company with its own 
website, <clears throat> and we are now selling the same T-shirts to the Canadians and to the Brits. Uh, but, and but, what, what's, what, you should be careful, they're a national security threat, but um, <laughs> especially their cars. But uh, anyway, uh, what's that website's uh, name? That is nopriorrestraint.com. No prior restraint.com. Okay, before we run out of time, you know, you say impeachment now, and it's you literally put it up on billboards and air banners yeah. and stuff. But there's some uh, people, including prominent Democrats, who say, whoa, 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 don't do that. that that'll actually, uh, it's, it's not the right time. And well, it's they, not the right they, they can get stuffed. Okay, okay, okay. okay, well, there we have it. You right. can go ahead and get stuffed. Right, That's right. Well, yeah, that is the answer. <laughs> you know, the, the, the man's a traitor. And, and that. In my opinion, needs to be front and center in November, and will be every day between now and November until he's gone. Why do you think so? Why, why do I think he's a traitor? Yes. Well, the whole collusion conspiracy with the Russians thing. Yeah, you know, uh, some say they're not convinced. Why are you so convinced? I, I think I think the evidence that we've seen, the June 9th meeting, everything that has flowed from that, the number of, I mean, my mother's Russian, she's pissed she wasn't invited to the June 9th meeting. <laughs> it, it, but uh, she shouldn't feel bad, neither was the director of national intelligence for us. Okay, yeah, but he's, <laughs> yeah, but he's not Russian because every other Russian in New York was there. <laughs> anyway. I think lots of evidence is coming out. I think more. I think the reason why Trump clearly is so freaked out with the treat with the with, he knows what he's done. He knows what he's conspired. Mueller has it six ways from Sunday. Yeah, and that's what we're going through right now. I'm with you. All right, Claude Taylor, everybody, MadDogPack.com, uh, and uh, I just love that it's crowdfunded and that you guys have raised uh, half a million dollars. And that you've gotten people to pay attention to it, and right. and you did it outside of the system without asking anybody for permission. Thanks. So and we're going to do our first anti-Putin billboard in Kiev, Ukraine. Stay tuned for news about that. Okay, Claude's last appearance on the Young Turks Network. <laughs> you're okay. You're a brave man. Just be careful, okay? I, I didn't say I was going to do it personally. <laughs> I got, I got to, you. I'm, I'm going to have someone. A company put up an anti-Putin bill, but but you are uh, being true to the the title of the organization, Mad Dog Pack. All right, Claude, thanks for joining us. Appreciate Thank you. it. All right, we'll be right back.